Hey guys, thanks for joining me. So I've been talking a lot about screen printing and making your own screens and using them in your ceramic work. So um, I'm gonna do an additional video. Um, I use these screens, these easy screens, because they're super easy. You don't have to do all the um, prep work. Um, so there's a previous video on how to create these. Um, but then sometimes I go ahead and I just cut um, the little pieces out that I actually need. So then you can be more selective and you can move them around. So um, here's a great example of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be putting them on my little critters today. And I thought I would just do an additional tutorial to show you how I do that. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna be using um, the Amco Coral Velvet Underglaze. It's a really pretty um, kind of a pinkish color. So when you're ready to use your screen, I always um, run it under water and then put it in between two paper towels so it feels kind of tacky because that's going to help it stick. And then you're going to want to place it, you know, wherever it is that you want it. And I tend to kind of press it on there really well and it should kind of help stick if you have that tackiness to it which is really gonna be important because you don't want that glaze to be seen underneath there. And then I like to use kind of a stiffer brush because I'm not gonna brush this on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of do it like a stencil. So I'm gonna kind of do one of these guys. And I like to put my glaze in a container rather than dipping into the jar, but that's just a personal preference. You'll have to do whatever is best for you. Just be careful when you get to the edge, like my screen, you know, it's really close to those edges, so I'm gonna kind of do those last. You don't want a whole lot of glaze on your brush. You don't want to like flood the stencil. But these easy screens are really great. I and mean, I don't know that I'll ever go back to making my own screens, to be honest. I love to use you know, the transfer decals too. I think they're really great, but there's just something to be said about creating your own drawings and putting that on your work. I mean, I could hand paint these on too, which I do sometimes. But this just is um, a little bit faster. and you still get the satisfaction of knowing that you drew it. And if you get a little bit on the edge, you know, it's not a huge deal. We can go back in and we can clean that up. Just kind of go through and make sure you've got all your spots. You don't miss anything. And then what would be really nice is if I had an additional screen kind of prepped and I could like let this dry up just a little bit and then work on another one while this one's setting up and then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna peel this off. So we'll do that in just a little bit. So I've let this set up for about a minute and now I'm going to peel this off. this really pretty um, kind of decal using your screen print. I hope you enjoyed it. 